just so mad. So I would say this might be the most painful stinging insect in the United States. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow! My name is Jack, and for the past four years, I've been searching for the most painful stinging insect on the planet. I've taken the sting of the bullet ant. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Giant hornets. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Ah. Wow! Look at that the fearsome executioner wasp. Oh, wow, actually, that is definitely worse than the warrior wasp. And much, much more. But I still haven't found quite what I'm looking for. Now, today I'm searching for one of the largest paper wasps here in the U.S., the ringed paper wasp. These are impressive wasps that I'm sure can pack quite a punch. Join me as I find one and answer the question, how painful? is a sting from the illustrious ringed paper wasp. Welcome back everyone to Jack's World of Wildlife and welcome back to another sting video. Now today I'm looking for one of the largest paper wasps here in North America. Today I'm on the hunt for the beautiful, the magnificent ringed paper wasp or Polistes annularis. Now these are impressive large wasps that should pack quite a painful sting. So let's see if we can find one and let's see how they compare to all the other stinging insects I have already so graciously endured for the sake of your entertainment and education. So without any further ado, let's start our journey and see if I can net up one of these beautiful ringed paper wasps. Now, although a lot of people don't like wasps, you have to recognize that wasps are incredibly important members of the ecosystems to which they are native. Now, what I mean by this is, on top of being pollinators, albeit not as good pollinators as their cousins, the bees, wasps are amazing predators. Now, because of the carnivorous habits of their larvae, these wasps regularly have to feed on a variety of other insects, including many pest insect species. Now, pest insects are species that feed on plants that we require to live and to eat and to survive. So wasps play a vital role in managing things like caterpillars, invasive beetles, and all sorts of other things. So even though you might not like wasps, they're very important and there is a purpose for them. So always remember that next time you see a wasp nest, don't stray too close, but maybe from across the way go, thanks wasps, appreciate you, appreciate you girls, doing a great job out there, doing stuff. So just do that. I'm filming. Wasp catcher extraordinaire. Easy peasy. Man, that's a big one. All right, so here we are, the beautiful ringed paper wasp. We got a nice big one here, transferred into this container. And uh, we're gonna see just how painful the sting of these wasps are and how it compares to some of the other paper wasps, some of the other polistes. So let's see if I can fish this lady out of here. Now, once again, I do this just to showcase that it's not too bad. Wasps are wasps, and you can see this animal's just trying to get away. It's not interested in stinging me, and really they're only defensive when it comes to their nests. Oh, man, I'm getting destroyed by mosquitoes. Come here, sweetie. You're so, so cute. There we go. A little high on the tweezers, but that's all right. You can see she's just so mad. It's okay, it's okay. 
gorgeous colors though. I love the legs, nice kind of yellow legs, nice red body, red head, that black abdomen, of course, with that iconic yellow ring right there, right by the waist. So uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. That's a big stinger, wow. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that is a gargantuan stinger. She's twisting around, firing out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go. The lovely, lovely Polistes annularis ringed paper wasp. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow! Ouch! You wanna go again? Oh, dang! Look at that! Ow, ow! Look at that stinger in there. Oh, oh! Woof! Woof! Ow! That was really good! Shoot! <laughs> wow! Yowzer! Okay! Wow! That was pretty good. I would say that was at least maybe on par with the Executioner Wasp. Maybe even a little sharper. That was like immediate, just that was a really good sting. I let her sting me, I think, three times. I guess time will tell with these uh, little welts of inflammation, but, ow, it still has got a lot of residual pain in it. Now, once again, these insects have developed such a painful sting to protect their brood. Now, what they do is they have these lovely paper nests that they make from scraping wood, and they use that kind of fiber, fiber that they mix with their saliva to create these little cells that their larvae grow in. And so they have that painful sting to deter predators from those very, very vulnerable, soft-bodied larval babies that they have. But take a look at that, already pretty red. So there's the one, two, three, Orion's belt of my uh, Polistes annularis stings. That was really, really impressive. Um, that was really sharp, r immediate stinging burning pain like somebody took an acid dipped razor sharp boiling hot sewing needle and just went and uh i'm impressed that was very painful um i would say that's probably the most painful at least native paper wasp i've been stung by so that beats polistes carolina that beats polistes metricus that beats have i done any more of uh, polistes um Texanus, Apachus, the Apache paper wasp, uh, Apachus Texanus, excuse me. Um, wow, man, that was painful. Huh, very interesting, very cool. But once again, you saw that animal, second I let, let her go, she was, shoo, she was out of here. She was ready to get back to her own thing. Take a look now, look at that inflammation. One, two, three, bam. That is, uh, that's something, folks. That is something, my, my, my expectation is that this is probably, this pain is probably gonna fade away here in the next 30 minutes, give or take. Um, this inflammation is going to continue. Uh, tomorrow, I imagine this whole area is gonna be a little red, a little itchy, or a little irritated, and it's gonna be quite itchy. Um, not looking forward to the itchy factor, but I am very impressed with Polistes annularis. I would say this might be the most painful stinging insect in the United States, um, more so than any of the tarantula hawks I've encountered, more so than any of the um, velvet ants I've encountered. Uh, this was incredibly eye-opening. Uh, this has been a species I see every single year uh, up here in North Texas. This is one of the most common species to encounter. Um, you might get them confused with the red paper wasp because they do have a lot of that um, red coloration on the head and the thorax, but uh, they, they get a little longer. They're more of an elongate build, not quite as stocky, uh, but that was an amazing example of a large worker female. Um, and as you can see, that, uh, that was quite the wallop. I'm very, very impressed with that. Uh, ow! Huh! Well, I guess uh, that at least answers my question of what is the most painful stinging insect in North America for me? With all the tests I've done, I'm gonna have to give that to Polistes annularis, the ringed paper wasp. That was impressive. So we're gonna, I'm gonna update you on the sting, but uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, I can't wait to see what this does and uh, I hope you stick around for the updates. But, uh, huh, who knew? Ringed paper wasp, youch. 
Okay, here we are about 10 minutes after my uh, lovely police. Uh, uh, ex excuse me. I'm in the middle of something. All these insects, they think I put one on my show and all of a sudden it's the insect party and just they can just show up unannounced. You got some big mosquitoes on you. Anyway, here we are about 10 minutes after the initial... Uh, they're everywhere. Oh. <laughs> being ah. We're just gonna get like drained of all of our blood before the end of this oh, video. Oh jeez. Maybe all this wasp venom is gonna discourage them. They're better. You know what, folks at home, to discourage mosquito bites, just run headfirst into a wasp nest, and there'll be so much venom in your system that the mosquitoes will be like, <coughs> "This is too spicy for me, honey. I'm gonna be moving on to something sweeter." Here we go. Inflammation, 10 minutes. You can hardly even see the pronounced one, two, three, the Orion's belt of the ringed paper wasp here. But that's that's pretty significant. That's some good swelling or inflammation, I should say. And uh ouchie. Ouch. That hurt. Um that that might be within the that's definitely top five, maybe top three stings I've ever received lifetime. Uh, if not one of the number ones, so below what Vespa Tropica and what else? Probably below Vespa Tropica. Um, my bullet ant sting was just really gnarly. Um, I'm gonna see how this kind of compares, but I mean, at least at the get go, this has got to be toe for toe with Polisys Carnifex and Bullet Ant and all of those. Uh, if not, maybe even a little more extreme. It's gonna be interesting to see. The kind of effects here um, with bullet ant my arm was just all sweating and with vespa tropica i look like the michelin man for like a week and a half my arm was like just swollen out to here so it's going to be interesting to see the effects of this venom uh but so far i'm more than impressed i, I think i might have found one of the most if not the most painful stinging insect here in the united states of america um i am I mean, my jaw just about hit the floor when that thing stung me. I am heartily impressed. So that was really, really cool. I am shocked that it was that bad. I mean, at least a time and a half, maybe two times worse than almost any other polistes I've ever taken a sting from. So, ouch. I wonder what's so different about the ringed paper wasp. But uh, when they came into the ring, ding, ding. Uh, man, knockout, first round. So, woof, painful, I'll update you, but uh, that was great. So take a look here, folks. What did I say? I said it would get nice and pink and itchy, and sure enough, it's exactly what it's doing. No localized sweating or anything. So I don't know that it quite beats the bullet ant's symptoms, but man, that initial pain was impressive, but take a look. That inflammation, it's pretty good, pretty swollen, pretty inflamed, um, but uh, no pain today. Um, we're just about 24 hours since the actual sting, um, but of course it's still a little itchy and uncomfortable. Take a look at all that. That's pretty impressive inflammation there. Can't really define this. Oh, actually, I guess you can. Look right there. One, two, three. If you can see those kind of lighter dots right there, ignore the black, I mean, brown recluse scar and the uh, wheel bug scar there. But those kind of one, two, threes right there, right in the middle of the screen, that is the, those are the entry wounds for the stinger. Well, at this point, you've seen the full extent of the ringed paper wasp sting video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed creating it because, wow, did you expect that today I would be finding the most painful stinging insect in North America that I've been stung by so far? I mean, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting to be like, hey, we'll add another Polistes to the list. We'll see how it shakes out. It'll be interesting. It'll be cool. But it just goes to show that there's always more stuff to learn. And there's always cool new things to find out when you get out in nature and you're able to immerse yourself in the beautiful world around you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I don't mind doing sting videos. I really don't. 
um, especially hymenopterans like ants, bees, and wasps. I got no problem doing those. Quick and easy, in and out. Uh, just a little bit of pain, but I don't mind doing that just to showcase how cool these animals are, number one, but let you know that they're also really important and they really don't have any intention of stinging you outside of protecting their own nest. So, Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Of course, turn on post notifications if you like this video and you want to be alerted when I upload more stuff. Uh, join our channel memberships. I'm, I'm posting all sorts of cool, exclusive, behind-the-scenes stuff and, and first looks at a lot of new videos. Buy the new merch. This is one of our new uh, designs, Scolopendra Heroes. Uh, Castinosaps is no longer a, its own officially recognized subspecies, but the Texas Red-Headed Centipede, gorgeous species, of course. You're repping the logo on the back. But uh, our time's come to an end. I'm gonna go home and uh, nurse this wound uh, that you have already seen in the future, in, my, in your past, but my future, when I'm updating because I'm cutting that in to before this outro. But thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next time. Now that's not all. Just like the Executioner Wasp, we have a special surprise for you that will be released at a later time. Yes, my cameraman Gage also took a sting from the ringed paper wasp, Polistes annularis, and he also theorized that this might be one of the most painful stinging insects on the planet. If you're interested in seeing his reaction, keep your eyes peeled for the release of our extended edition ringed paper wasp sting video.